outside against a team that's 29th in the league in field goal defense. Granger hits the jumper, so after he it inside, finds Collison, and his three-point shot in and out, no good. Kept alive by McRoberts and put in. Now Collison takes it inside. Shot clock down to 10. Hibbert had it poked away by Wallace. Up high, Roy catches and dunks it home. Nicely done. And Frank Vogel out in front of us talking about energy, high energy. He's shown. Able to splash that one home. He's got their last six points. Collison, the teardrop in the lane. Good to see Darren hit his first field goal. Hansborough, free throw line. Left that short. Solomon Jones gets the offensive rebound. Gives it to Hansbro, who dunks it. Solomon Jones Clark playing for the first time after spinning out with a groin, but he also did not play for quite a while. Was on the bench, and there's Dante Jones hitting a three, hoping to jump start a rally for the Pacers. That can step out and shoot the three. Dylan Waven is sixth year out of Connecticut. Second season here, and here's Dante Jones, a nine point second quarter. Now in the corner, here's a shot by Rush, and it's good for three. He showed his numbers in his career against the Pistons a while, just a little bit ago. And in fact, Indiana's first basket, then they missed seven shots in a row. Hibbert with a right hand, got it. Took his time. Paul George briefly in the first half, then went to the locker room with a groin injury, strained his groin, but word is he is available to come back, Clark, and assess the rookie out of Fresno State's first 50-plus games of the year. Well, I think they're starting in this young man's future. He's got the full package of potential, disposition, talent, athleticism, and I think he wants to be an outstanding pro. As he's got more playing time and become more comfortable in the predictability of the rotation, he clearly has shown that he can do a lot of things well and easily. I think he could potentially be a standout at both ends of the floor, Chris. I mean, defensively, he could probably grow into a guy that can defend multiple positions. Offensively, he'll give you versatility and playmaking ability. Uh, I think this young man has a really bright future ahead of him. So I'm for just seven minutes.